Anything on the riverfront Esplanade project in Newark? My guy in the state assembly, he says the matching funds are this close. The development agency, they added plans for a city of Newark Museum of Science and Trucking. Or cement. Or everything. Mm -hmm. Answer the fucking thing. So, you feeling okay? Oh, you mean about my mother? Well, I mean, what are you gonna do? You pick up the pieces and you go on. I meant your spells. They're not spells. How do you know about that the fuck over there in New York? Everybody knows. There's nothing to be ashamed of, Tony. For Christ's sakes, Julius Caesar was an epileptic. Not an epileptic. Whatever it is, you gotta take care of yourself. It's your health. Is the psychiatrist helping? Oh, you know about that too. So what? There's no stigmata these days. My kid saw a shrink. He got court order for that thing with his wife. They're very happy now. Whatever happened to privacy? Our family's been doing our Jersey business a long time with the Sopranos, in a peaceful and profitable way. And I want to keep it like that. Take care of this for me, okay? All right, come on. Why fuck around? Be a better friend to yourself. I will. And I appreciate your concern, really. What are you making, my nest? You know, Carmine, too. Sometimes he gets very frustrated with Tony and Ralph that generation. He thinks the whole Esplanade thing, rich as it is, wasn't handled right risk-wise. How is Carmine? He asks about you. Give him my love. I will. You like hearing that. He's not as well as he could be either, you know. If there's ever anything I can do, anything, he shouldn't hesitate. I'll tell him. Here's to Newark's newest hotel. I town. Anything else with the Esplanade I should know? <laughs> All right, let me get the fuck out of here. How's Junior? He's gonna be all right. Tell him he's in our prayers, etc. I'll be sure and let him know. One other thing, though. John said he went to a cookout at your house. Yeah. Don doesn't wear shorts. All right, come on, come on. Elevator, sir. John, you got more laborers on a job site than we got carpenters. What's the problem? The problem is the carpenters are carrying sheetrock and materials. So we ain't getting what we expected to be getting. Minimally expected. That Mazarone hired more laborers off the books. Nobody's talking to you. All right, Jesus. Sixty-five thirty-five. Salud. 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 Johnny. You explain the other thing I want to talk about. Sure. Tony, it's come to our attention you bought property around Freeling Heisen Avenue and turned it in a week. So? You did it with inside knowledge from Ron Zellman. Come to your attention from where? That property's hot because of the Esplanade. We share the Esplanade. We share Zellman. If the Soprano family's gonna benefit from it, then Carmine feels we should have, too. Okay, we'll work something out. Come on over. Stick it in your ass. Hey, go talk to you. What the fuck, John? Keep him away from me. John, what's going on? I don't want to talk about it. What's this? I have no fucking idea. But I got better shit to do. You saw how I was with them at dinner the other night? Something going on. No said I know where Carmen's up my ass on this Freeland Eyes and Avenue bullshit. Somebody's talking too much. It's costing me money. When you think about it, Johnny's got some balls. Big house, lying in his pocket with our hard-earned cash. Who's he thinks keeping that fat bitch in devil dogs anyway? Whatever he is, he's also Carmine's underboss. So you're gonna fucking placate him. Oh, what, apologize? No, no, you do that, I'll be worse. Whoever told him this is your word against theirs. 
I want you to sanction the hit on Ralph Zaffarello. What? Are you fucking kidding me? He violated my wife's honor. Ralph slept with Jenny? We depend on this guy. There are millions of dollars at stake. We can't afford it, John. A room full of guys making fun of my wife, and you're not going to let me deal with this? Not that way. My answer has got to be no. I want to sit down, then, with Ralph, you fucking thief. Get this. All right, let's straighten this out. Excuse me. I can't do this. Why, John? Oh, what's wrong? I can't listen to this bullshit. I'm trying to explain. Fuck you. John, please. Don't fucking John hey, me. Hey, hey, we're trying to settle this. It's not about that. I'm sorry, comrade. I can't be in the same room with this man. Is it safe? We each got a new cell phone. Johnny and Ralph Cifaretto, right? It's not important. Let's just agree it was unkind. Let's point out, too, it's only been alleged something was said. He allegedly said what he said to a group of people, friends of ours. If you weren't there, how do you know it's true? I'm not at liberty to say. Let's stick to the issue. A horrible insult was made against Jenny. End the fucking story. What does he want done about it? I want to avenge her honor. This is my right to do. All right, fine. You tell me who told you about it. We'll bring him in here. He corroborates what you're saying. I'll give you a rough on a platter. Is clipping him gonna unring that bell? Nobody's getting clipped. I want satisfaction. Would you accept an apology? That ship has sailed. You're being unreasonable, John. Ralph Ciparello is the only one who knows how to handle the espionage. Put Pat the Corvo in there. There are millions of dollars at stake. Again with the money? Yeah, again with the money. It's sell, John. So read the name of price and get the fuck over it. Rob's got a big problem, kid. Don't you squashed it? I did. Problem is, I don't know if John's hearing me. So what are you gonna do about it? Me? Nothing. What does that mean? I didn't say nothing. We share the espionage, Tony. I don't want that apple cart upset. Yeah, then somebody should do something about it. I appreciate your thoughts. You saying what I think you're saying? I didn't say nothing. All right, then, I'll talk to you. My day, John was right. A man would never be expected to stand for a remark like that. Fucked up thing is I don't even like Ralph. If he would drown and I'd throw him a cinder block. But not protect one of my own captains? All right, it's too late anyway. Come on, gave me the nod. On Johnny? That one's a slippery fuck, huh? You remember those big fish lips of his? Well, Johnny, yeah, Carmine's gonna put his son in there. Fucking brainless the second. Who knows, maybe there's an upside to Johnny going. Hello? It's me. I just hung up with the guy, Jerry, from Fort Lauderdale. That guy we're looking for, he's at the Del Rey Hotel in Miami. A uh, friend with the paving problem. Send someone over there tomorrow to take care of it, then. Are you sure you want to do this? I feel a lot better with the Pope's blessing. Just do as you're told. I'll deal with the fallout. Not a big reversal all of a sudden. No more weight remarks, Tony. They're hurtful, and they're destructive. Oh, I agree. So what's up you make me late for a table tavern on a fucking green? How's the real estate business? Excuse me? Well, you know, HUD, Garside Street, you, Ralph, Zellman. Zellman tell you this? Oh, Carmine doesn't know anything about this yet, Tony. I'm giving you an opportunity to cut a deal, make it right. Last time, Freeland Eisen Avenue, I cut you in at a friendship. But that's over, John. You got nothing coming to you. You or Carmine. You sure you want to go down this road, Tony?
you want a 40% position in your HUD business. Well, because I've been on the other thing. You think you're entitled to reach into my pocket on this? That was a gesture of goodwill. Tony, we've been down this road before. We share Zellman. Therefore, any of the fruits of Zellman, we're entitled to. We done here? Fucking Ralph. Where's your point man on this thing? He missed his drops this week. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. About what we expected. Hello? Look, let's not let this thing get out of hand. We've been doing good business for a while now. Harmon agrees. I agree. Well, 40%'s not gonna happen, and we all know it. I'm willing to go five and a half. Hello? Not acceptable. This guy who does the housing appraisals for Tony. Vic the appraiser, they call him. Joey! I want you to pay a visit to this Pollock Tony Soprano's got doing phony house appraisals. Vic, the appraiser. Make this guy understand that he's gonna be working for us on these shithole houses we bought in Jersey. You got it. So as you know, Dad, Tony Soprano came to visit me recently. I bought him dinner, we talked. I'm not sure I like that he did that end run. He's an old-fashioned guy, Pop, very allegorical. I don't think it was his intention to assault anybody. You distracted me. I'm taking a mulligan. The problem here is I'm afraid that maybe you backed yourself into a corner, this HUD thing. I tell you, though, when I first met him, decisive as he is, I would have been proud to call him my own son. It's a bit of a poseur, you ask me. Tony, he likes to talk the talk, I don't know. What? What'd he say? His turf, his appraiser. Son of a bitch. Would they resod that drain? No, you gotta give him some slack. He hasn't really been boss of a family very long. Family? I told you, they're a glorified crew. On reflection, John, maybe that's the sticking post. Tony feels like your friends and not business associates. See? What am I always saying? I hate this fucking shit. Listen, Tony. It's very important to Carmine that we work something out. It's so important. Where is he? Forty. I thought little Carmine said he was gonna take care of this. Well, he did. That's why the concession. We were at forty a week ago. Well, that is done already. It's done. You keep that for yourself. Forty percent only applies to future deals. Let's go. Yo, guys, come here, look at this. <laughs> she broke the yarn. He said little Paulie to trash Carmine's restaurant? He works for me. Eh, what do I know, huh? A lot more than me, that's for sure. You heard what he did to the fucking restaurant? So how do you want to respond? We gotta break this guy's back. I haven't wanted to do this. But it's gotta be. Call the union. This site is shut down until further notice. Well, it happened. But all fuck shut down the esplanade. This business agent you know, was there from the union. 
put on an Emmy caliber performance. Yeah, well, let me take this 40% bullshit and run about the other four bosses, see if they put up with it. If you want, we could torch a few of his cement trucks. No, no retaliation, counter retaliation. We just sit tight. It's gonna cost us, T. That's why Carmine did it. It's gonna cost him, too. So listen, about all this stuff that's going on, Tony and all. What's your name again? Paulie Gaultieri. Jersey? Your father was run over by a trolley, right? Johnny talked to you about me, right? Johnny who? Sack? Talk to me about what? Help. I'm telling you now. Carmine won't bend. And I just told you I won't. If Carmine's health is bad, if something were to happen to him, God forbid, all of this unpleasantness would just... John, Carmine's fine. Yes. He's very healthy. Thank God. Call me. I'm gonna pass. Fuck are you talking about? I'm taking all the risk. The fuck were you talking about last time? What would it take? Fuck even one percentage point. All claims to my HUD business are irrigated. All right. <laughs> all future construction projects, 60-40, in my favor. What I'm gonna tell you is for your ears only. And chill. We're gonna take out Carmine Lupatazzi. Johnny's a snaky fuck. Well, that's something to be considered. But remember also how deeply hurt fuck that Johnny felt over Carmine. Not backing him on those slurs against Ginny. Life's funny, huh? Carmine never made that right with John. I knew back then that was a mistake. Gonna hit Carmine soon? If I'm gonna buy this house, I need the Espel not scratch. It shouldn't look like what it is. Home invasion, carjack, fucking engrossed toenail. I know these black guys from Irvington. Well, that's the right idea. It can never get out. Who we'll whacked the old fuck? Are they trustworthy, these guys? Yeah. Make sure. I'm sorry to learn about the marital situation, Tony. Our thing is more than a likelihood. One of us suffers a personal tragedy, falls ill, or whatnot. We all feel it deeply, no matter what kind of acrimony's in the air. What's in the air is you lose the money out your ass. We all agree we want to get back to earning. But I reiterate again, Zellman had a hand in HUD, so I can't, as a matter of principle, relinquish my claim. So? I said 40, you said five and a half, which was ridiculous. Let's split the difference. 20%. I'm 15. You know what? In the interest of putting this shit to bed, if that's what it's going to take, 15. My son was a big help in all this. I want you always to remember that, even after I'm gone. But I'm not going no place. Healthy is a fucking rhino, this guy. I'm gonna stay that way, huh? Fucking amazing, huh? Well, I guess that's that, huh? Things have a momentum of their own. More is lost by indecision than wrong decision. That's a good point, Dan. Okay, then. You'll hear from me. Mr. 
JS. We're not on for Tuesday no more, right? Well. I was wondering, why the delay? I was gonna call you. You're not gonna be happy. I'm out. Well, why could a boss is bad for business? And now that he's settled, we can weather it. It's not just the internal appeal. Mr. and Mrs. John Q. America. By and large, they sit still for a shit. Some people get ripped off. They figure it's not them. But if it's a fucking okay corral out there, the feds take heat. Phew, Tony. This, this is very disappointing. I know. But he's an old man. Come on, you gotta get your chance soon enough. Come on, you all right? He barely touched the rakes out. Too much Gurkhas. Smell that? What? Bernie here. I smell cut grass. Any word on your cousin getting out? Who's your cousin again? Tony Blondaro. Oh, yeah, good guy. Right, right. He was my best buddy inside. So you're going to give him a party? Yeah, you know, get him late. <laughs> What's the matter? Come on. Come on. Hey, hello. Hello. Come on. Hold it Come on. Yes, sir. Right. Is he breathing? Get that egg salad out of this yeah. Hurry up! Lupertazzi residence. Come on, it's John. Hey, John boy, how's the weather? Look, I got some bad news. My dad's had a stroke. Oh, my God, how bad? There's some paralysis. It's too early to tell you. They're doing everything they can. Is my mom there? I just called her. She's on her way. We're over at St. Vincent's. Anything, John. Anything he needs. I'm on the next plane. Said this shit, huh? What if I could smoke in here? You know, I haven't forgotten our arrangement last year. You leaving me in the lurch like that? It's the right thing to do, John. Taking out a boss? Come on. Even still. What do you want, an apology? Fucking Whitman sampler? What? Oh, that's terrible. Where's he gonna be laid out? Oh, no. God damn it. Well, let us know. Carmine Lupatazzi. He passed during the night. What a fucking blow. He was a great man. My cousin told me it was Carmine who invented point shaving. CCNY versus Kentucky, 1951. Nobody beat the spread. I bought a black fleet one. What the fuck? Tony, I'm so lonely. I miss my violin. What violin? Violet, my wife. She was everything to me. I'm all alone on the other side. It ain't right. Answer the fucking thing. If it's him, tell him you ain't seen me. Tell who? The man upstairs. Hello. We need you to do something. 